Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. If it's morning for you, evening for you, whatever it is, I hope you guys are having a great day and enjoying this bull market. But now you guys know by the title of the video that we are going to be talking about Quant. So let's waste no more time and let's get right in Quant's update. So if we're looking at the price of Quant right now, it is currently trading at $131.28, up 1.6% in the last 24 hours in USD compared to, but we're down about 2% in Bitcoin and ETH compared to over the last 24 hours. So before we get into Quant update, I just want to give you guys a quick heads up. If you are part of the Quant um, community, um, high requests come in from each and every one of you guys to kind of make a price prediction. Again, you guys know that anything on this channel is not financial advice, always to your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto usually i make daily analysis to see what's happening with the price in the immediate short term but a lot of requests coming in about you know giving you guys a projection where i could see uh, possibly quant going this next bull cycle uh you know at its all-time high what kind of all-time high can it set so i'm going to be working on that video for you guys for the next update it's not going to be today but for the next update stay tuned you know turn your notification bell on and come subscribe on the crypto zx channel because that's what i'm going to bring you guys in the next update but now let's get right in today's topic which is quant if we're looking at the market cap it is approaching that two billion dollar mark and the 24 hour trading volume is currently at 35 million dollars so now let's get right into the analysis and see what's happening with the price and where are we going in the immediate short term you know tremendous amount of questions that are always flowing in uh to me are about quant price why is qnt not moving i've gotten at least 15 comments over the last one day and a half about qnt and you know why it has not been moving and that's what we're going to discuss why has quant not moved right now you know we're really bullish on quant you know as you guys know on my channel i'm projecting again this is all my own personal opinion this does not mean i'm telling you to go buy quant or i'm promoting quant as in like i'm getting paid by that absolutely nothing you know i cover projects that are highly requested on my channel and i give my personal opinion personal thoughts you know quant has showed us and it's not a doubt it's not a secret anyone that does technical analysis can go see this for themselves quant has showed us its strength within it you know the price range you know we saw quant go insane during a bear market when everything was having a massive sell-off we saw this project go from its all-time low all the way to almost 0.50 fibonacci retracement level in just a matter of a month and a half so we know the strength that it has and right now what we're seeing is a lot of accumulation happen you know where quant currently is sitting it is at the perfect spot where it should be in and that is the 78.6 fibonacci retracement level keeping that in mind we are facing some resistance for quant and uh as i say that the overall buying pressure is just not as high but the main factor i've told you guys this in my other videos is that btc dominance is skyrocketing right now so this goes for mainly all altcoins yes there are a few altcoins that are outperforming even bitcoin right now you know phantom is one uh, stacks is one the one that i can think of on top of my head these projects are literally outperforming the uh, you know cryptocurrency market along with bitcoin's momentum but you know when the btc dominance you know index is skyrocketing that means more money is flowing into bitcoin right now rather than altcoins that's where we're seeing a lot of altcoins lag behind bitcoin right now we're not seeing those explosive moves when we see in a bull market but you know sooner rather than later we're going to see bitcoin see a little bit of a cool off you know this is a beautiful move uh, for bitcoin we have entered the 61.8 fibonacci retracement level for the first time ever since june 13 so we are you know out of that uh, bear market zone which was um you know within that 78.6 we have broken out of there which is extremely bullish right now uh, bitcoin has showed its power to the financial sector you know made a statement for itself hey you know what i'm the big guy here i was made for the, the these times around the globe you know when the massive uh you know economic uncertainty along with the financial crisis banks falling left and right bitcoin is coming and saying you know what look i'm the big guy here and you know like i've said in my other videos this move from bitcoin is not retail investors come these are big players institutions buying bitcoin right now because retail can't push the markets like this in my personal opinion and you know keeping this in mind big you know bitcoin is just starting out right now a lot of people are calling bitcoin to hit a million dollars but i think that's a little absurd um you know unrealistic could see it uh, you know go 
from 130 to even 160k next bull cycle easily uh but you know 1 million guys you know that is just not going to happen in in that in the next bull cycle unfortunately uh but yeah if we're looking at QNT you know QNT is accumulating right now and we're going to see a pop out happen once this number drops and not only that if bitcoin you know trades sideways if bitcoin drops and so does BTC dominance that means oh no let me tell you something so let's say B bitcoin drops and btc dominance stays up guess what's going to happen to altcoins altcoins are going to go down more compared to bitcoin um so what we would need to do is to bitcoin to trade sideways and btc dominance index to go down in order to see altcoins rally and qnt i i'm still projecting in the you know short term in the short term i'm expecting qnt to break out uh, from its previous uh, higher high that it created, um, you know, the previous high it created, which was on October 19th, which was a $227 mark. And remember, guys, if you love QNT right now, um, you know, and you bring up the measuring tool, it's still about 75% away from getting to that point. And if you really do believe that it's getting there and you are on the sidelines right now, and you're just projecting, hey, should I get some? Uh, should I dollar cost averaging in? Dollar cost averaging in is your best friend. And obviously, investing where you can afford to lose. Now, because, you know, when the prices go to $226, you're going to be looking back, and $130 buy point is going to be looking quite nice. Obviously, we can make the statement saying, ah, you know, the price could possibly go down uh, to $93 or 90 bucks if Bitcoin were to see a massive, you know, uh, flash uh, crash which could happen again you know that's not in our control maybe like some negative news that could come out that can actually affect the markets you know some factors are not in our control but overall bitcoin has showed its strength you know this uh, bull market is set in stone right now uh, but obviously some um, you know news that can come out that is not in our control can affect the markets but as of now the trend is set and i've been saying this since the year of 2023 has started but if you are a q and t holder dollar cost averaging in is your best friend right now uh because you know you don't want to be just waiting waiting to go for the price to go down what if it just doesn't go down you know so those are this is why you know dollar cost averaging in is extremely important and obviously investing where you can afford to lose and then if you have done that then just hodl hodl your bags like just hodl your bags like patience is your number one best friend in this market. If you were to come and ask me for the biggest tip, I will say patience, due diligence. And as long as you have done that, just patience. Because these markets will fluctuate on a daily basis. You know, whales are going to come, you know, try to shake out the longs, try to shake out the shorts. And that's where the weak hands get shaken out. So if you have done your due diligence and research and have invested where you can afford to lose guess what your best friend is the best friend is going to be hodling and having patience so that is the current scenario for uh, obviously uh, qnt in order for the fireworks to begin we do need to see qnt break out of this massive level of resistance at 154 dollar mark but we're facing a little bit of resistance right now you guys can see this for yourself you cannot make it up right now we do have quite a bit of resistance built up around here hence we are seeing it uh, having a hard time breaking out but obviously buying pressure needs to increase and btc dominance needs to see a little bit of a cool off before we get started but that is it for today's update let me know down below what you guys think and stay tuned for that next update for quant love you all see you tomorrow with crypto zx and peace out